Mbasa County have been warned against disregarding the Minister of Health COVID-19 protocols while conducting their prayers, failure to which they risk having the mosques closed. The Kenya Muslims Advisory Committee says it has observed ignorance among some imams and this poses a threat to efforts of controlling spread of coronavirus in the region. Kenya Muslim Advisory Committee is cautioning Muslim faithful in Mombasa County against violating COVID-19 prevention guidelines. The warning comes after what the committee terms a careless behavior in some mosques. <laughs> Serikali haija tuambia tufunge miskiti, serikali natuambia tufate nidhamu, watu waelewe hiki Kiswahili, watu sema oo oh, tumeambua tufunge miskiti, tusiswali, uh, serikali gani ya kikafiri, hakuna, we fata sheria. We cancel one's closure of mosques in the region if the trend continues. Nyumose kifika wiki hii inshallah, ile miskiti ambayo itakuwa bado haijaweka nidhamu, itafungi liwambali. Na huenda imam wa msikiti huo, chairman wa msikiti, na komitee au mwenye msikiti ambayo lipa mshara huenda wakashitakiwa mahakamani kwa kufunja nidhamu za COVID-19. Mombasa County has recorded 752 coronavirus cases in April alone. In CIA, the county governor links increasing cases of coronavirus in the recent weeks to careless behavior by residents. In a random sample of every 100 people in CIA County, some 11 people now have COVID-19 virus. We should encourage anyone out there to wear a mask while in public, maintain social distance, continuously wash our hands, and travel only when necessary. The governor saying he will not have any choice but to introduce more restrictions if locals do not strictly adhere to the preventive measures. Being experienced in India, if we relax the rules now and disregard the protocols, people could soon drop dead along the streets. All of us do not want that to happen. Let us therefore follow the recommended basic measures. Elsewhere, Nakuru Governor Lee Kinyanjoi is sounding an alarm that his county hospitals are running out of oxygen. Kinyanjoi says that due to increased COVID-19 admissions, the oxygen-generating facility at the Nakuru Level 5 hospital had been overwhelmed following increased demand. The governor, who was speaking during a groundbreaking ceremony for the upgrade of the 83-year-old Afraha Stadium, noted that vaccination was not enough, urging residents to follow preventive guidelines issued by the Minister of Health. We still want to plead with everybody is that anything that you can do within your power to ensure that you do not contract or that you do not infect the next person, I think when you remember the people around you and even yourself, I think we must do everything possible to ensure that is done. A mask is within your power, social distancing is within your power, sanitizing is within your power. In the meantime, the Anglican Bishop of Bungoma Diocese, Reverend George Mechumo, is urging the government to reassure Kenyans who have received their first dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine of their strategy of ensuring that Kenyans receive their second dose on time. Watoto wanatoka katika familia mbali mbali. Tunajua walimu wamepokea chanjo, lakini wazazi wa watoto hawa wachapokea chanjo. Wanawezekano ya kwamba wanaweza kuambukiza watoto, na watoto wakaambukiza watoto wenzao. Tena watoto hawa wakapeleka ugonjwa huu kwa wazazi tena wengine nyumbani wasio na hatia. Kwa hivyo suluhisho ni chanjo. This comes at a time when there is uncertainty over availability of the second dose. At the same time, the World Health Organization has listed Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use, the fifth job to be given the status meant to expedite countries' own approval of shots. WHO Assistant Director General Mariangela Simao says it is important to have more vaccines available because of supply problems from other producers, including from India, the main source of vaccines for the global COVAX vaccine sharing program.